In this chapter, we will learn the basic concept of compound interest. That is, compound interest is nothing but an interest on interest. We'll see how this concept will help us a lot to calculate compound interest much faster. Compound interest is greater than simple interest. We look at some problems and its applications. The difference between compound interest and simple interest. We look at compounding a sum for periods which is less than a year. For example, we'll look at how what happens if we compound a money a sum of money every six months or every three months. We look at problems which deal with which is a better investment compounding yearly or compounding half yearly. We learn the very important concept of present value and future value of money. And we'll extend this logic or this concept and then we'll learn about installments. And as usual, we'll solve a lot of problems through different approaches so that we will get extremely comfortable with the underlying concepts. So we have seen so far that what's happening in a compound interest is the interest gets added to the principal and the principal then increases then we again find the rate percentage and so on. Let's make it even more simple. Let's observe the principles. Sorry, let's observe the interest. The interest for the first year was 10 rupees. In the second year, it was 11 rupees. The third year, it was 12.1. And the fourth year, it was 13.31. Do you find anything? Well, the interest is also increasing by 10 percentage. So 10 increased by 10 percentage gives you 11. 11 increased by 10 percentage gives us 12.1. 12.1 increased by 10 percentage gives us 13. Point 3, 1. And what's this 10 percentage? It's nothing but our rate percentage. So just as our principal increased from 100 to 110, 221, 233.1, which is an increase of 10 percentage, our interest also increases in the same way. So we found that our principal went from 100 to 110 which is a 10 percentage interest then it went to 121 and then it came into 133.1 and so on. So just as our principal increased by 10 percentage every year the interest also increased by 10 percentage every year. So we can use this principle to calculate the interest. So all that we need to do is find the interest for the first year. First year the interest is 10 rupees. So the second year, this is going to be increased by 10 percentage. So 10 plus 10 percentage of 10, which is 11. Now this is going to be increased by 10 percentage. So 11 plus 1.1, 12.1. And the fourth year, this is going to increase by 10 percentage, which is 13.31. So our total interest is nothing but sum of the interest for each year, which is 46.41. And what would be our amount at the end of four years? We just add the interest to the principal and we get our amount. Now compare this with the formula which would have been A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 the whole power N. So our principal is 100 and then our rate is 10 by 100 the whole power 4. Now, this calculation is still okay but if i am if we have to deal with some other percentage like let's say a 12.5 then th using this formula becomes very cumbersome but working with percentages if we know how to convert from percentage to fractions and do all those calculations quickly this method of adding the interest becomes extremely easy